till the big event, GVB will be taking over procurement for the Festival of the Pacific Arts. I don't speak for the board, but you know, it's my sentiment. GVB doesn't really want to do this, but we can't afford for the event to fail, right? And so we're going to step up to the plate here, and I think we've done everything we can to cross T's and dot I's, and uh, we need to find a way to have a successful event. I think this is the way to do it, unfortunately. The decision was tabled last week as legal questions loomed over the use of GVB's existing event management firms to handle the festival. The change in managing the millions of FESPAC money was suggested by both the Attorney General and Public Auditor because GVB has a better track record with the process. With this decision to help with the logistics of FESPAC, GVB wants to make sure all the funds are accounted for. Board Secretary Therese Ariola made a motion that GVB only expend funds with approval from the FESPAC organizing committee. I want a very, very clear accounting of, of uh, what, we're, what we're responsible for and what we're not, and we're not responsible for anything that's been expended up to today. GVB will uh, um, cut payment or make payment to such vendors as approved by the FESPAC committee. And that way it's very clear who's approving the expenditures. GVB Board Treasurer Sam Shinohara expressed his reservations about the decision. So it's, it's $1.4 million dollars that we would be handling, like not 5 to $7 million or whatever that's worth. Do we anticipate any further transfers from the government? Not really, other than any additional sponsors that may pop up or if the legislature pops up with a bunch more money, which I don't know if they would or wouldn't. Shinohara wasn't the only one. Vice Chairman of the Board Bruce Kloppenberg explains that GVB shouldn't be involved in FESPAC logistics because it's too late in the game. Because at the end of the day, when it's all settled and, and done, there's going to be a lot of a lot of auditing going on and we didn't want to be caught in the middle of that. Well, we're not going to be caught in the middle of it. I want FESPAC to su succeed. And failure, they keep saying failure is not an option. FESPAC would not have failed if GVB didn't get involved. They would have found a way to do it. I just didn't think we needed to get involved. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.